What you working on? The Ninjago City modular set. How do you like it so far? I love it a lot. It might it might compete to be my favorite modular. What? Yeah, I'm being serious. Oh my goodness. There's we got like eleven other modulars and you would like this one better. Yeah, probably. Maybe. So how long have you been a Lego Ninjago fan? Well, I mean, I wasn't a fan. When the show came on, I watched, like, the first season, and then... Wait, you've actually seen episodes? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. And then, it was alright, and then, uh, I quit watching it, because I just, you know, I didn't catch up with it, and then I never decided to watch it again. And I was like, some of the sets, they look cool, they got some cool features in them, then when that other uh, ninjago set came out with the red tower you know that one yes that one that the one, big one yeah that one looked cool because it was more realistic than some of the other ones right. and then they announced the ninjago movie and then the and i was like oh that might not be that great and then the trailer comes out it looks really good this set comes out and it looks and it's awesome yeah do you remember the little sets they sold that were like the little spin battle mm -hmm. things yeah spin jitsu or whatever they called it is, yeah. that, is that what they called it mm -hmm. um were you interested in that I mean, I know some of my friends were, but uh, I guess not really. We weren't like just like, oh, I got to get the latest one. And yeah. those were always, uh, those always went on clearance later. Mm -hmm. And um, so Ninjago is kind of an interesting thing that they chose that to be another movie for a Lego style movie. Mm -hmm. You know, we had Lego movie, Batman. Bat Batman, and now this Ninjago thing, which is, uh, apparently doing well now, but I think it's doing well now because of things like this Ninjago City. And of course, this is on a big scale. Mm -hmm. This set appeals not just to kids, but who else might like this set? A falls. <laughs> why? Why do you, why do you say that? Galador. Galador. Mtron. Mtron. Uh, Island Extreme Stunts. Island Extreme Stunts. Fabuland. I, I'll, we'll have a picture up there where they can see it. But Fabuland, Johnny Thunder, uh, Chima, yeah. Rock Raiders. Um, what's that? Nexo Knights? Not Nexo Knights. Uh, Exo Force. They have that right here. But Mtron's on Yeah, here. so. Rocket Racer. Basically, and this isn't a review of this Ninjago City, but this is more of a discussion of how you take a theme that otherwise might suffer the same fate as Chima mm -hmm. or Bionicle and you make it have mass appeal, meaning you get people that otherwise would not be the least bit interested in the theme. And I think they may, I don't even know what the name of that set is. One of you will know <laughs> and you can comment. Uh, this is not a live stream, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Just uh, that, that big tower temple or whatever it was the air it, temple something like it, that all right that was a cool looking set and it was the first ninjago set that when they had a special deal where you could get it and another set free that was like a 60 dollar value i went ahead and got it because i thought that was pretty cool and mm -hmm. otherwise i was just getting ninjago stuff if it was on a good clearance yeah uh but now with this ninjago city which i had to get because of the galador reference <laughs> because of the m or actually i didn't even know about the m tron i reference. didn't either until i just opened it um but it did look cool and because it was a modular mm -hmm. and we have all of the modular sets i've been collecting the modular since they were initially released with the cafe corner um i had to get it and a part of me was like, you can keep building. Don't oh, no, I like listening to you. <laughs> part of me was sad. Uh, well, maybe that's not the right word, sad. But I was thinking, why did you have to make this theme that I have no interest in? Oh, yeah. <laughs> why did you have to make me buy it? And apparently me saying stuff like that has upset a couple of people in the Lego community because Ninjago is something that's near and dear to their heart. And they can't understand why I like Something like this. Yeah, not Ninjago. Not Ninjago. Do you not know that I'm making fun of stuff like this? 
I get stuff like that because it is weird. And is there anything wrong with liking things because they're weird? No. Is there anything wrong with liking Ninjago the way it was before they made it cool? Because mm -hmm, it was all right. I mean, there's you, nothing wrong with it. You but, see how I took a under as yeah. a kind of left-handed compliment. See, but it's like everyone has their own interests, so <laughs> exactly. No, and, not everyone's gonna like what you like. Right, and so like while I personally, there's themes like Bionicle that I when I remember. And I've said this repeatedly in videos. When Bionicle came out, I was like, this is never going to work. You know, mm -hmm. you weren't alive then. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I was like, I just like, I had no interest. I said, it didn't even look like Lego. I was like, are they trying to copy some other kind of style or something? I was like, I, I just, I didn't get it. I did not know that there was like a storyline with it. And that appealed to a whole different uh, collector. And it brought... A different group of people in there so while i personally didn't like bionicle they never had an interest in bionicle um it turned out that bionicle was a theme that was very popular to especially to a, a certain group of people and also probably did a big part in saving mm -hmm. lego in general the company because it did so well so I can't hate on Bionicle. That doesn't mean I'm rushing out to get the latest. Oh, they don't make Bionicle anymore. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Another. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, Bionicle. <laughs> and I, I get it. I understand that there are people that love it. And there is absolutely nothing wrong with it. I have Bionicle around here somewhere. Yeah. yeah it's in one of these boxes. But I, I would, you know, and I've done a couple of little things that maybe... Or said that might offend Bionicle fans, but I really shouldn't do that. And I, I think it, what I'm trying to say is it's okay for people to like Bionicle, mm -hmm. and they shouldn't be teased because they like Bionicle. Do you? I, I mean, I, I, I respect Bionicle. Okay. What about Chima? I mean, Chima it it, it appealed to the eyes, I guess, because <laughs> of the different colors and all that, but. I did the story. Uh, is there a Chima fan? It, Are there people that like Chima? <laughs> I, apparently not, because there's not the. I don't think Chima has the following that Ninjago. Nin, nar, yeah, Ninjago had. I remember when they first announced it. A lot of people I talked to were confused with what it was, yeah. like what it's supposed to be. And Chima did so poorly as a theme. I don't know if you remember this, but there was a time that every Lego order you placed. You got a free Chima set yeah, with yeah, it, no and it was not advertised. They were just throwing these sets in there. In fact, they had an order that had back order items, and each back order shipment got the set free. So I, I'd get multiple copies of this same Chima starter pack, and it's like, still to this day, I don't think I've opened it. <laughs> I've got like 20 copies of it. <laughs> so... We did play. Now you did build a couple of the Chima sets, yeah. and we did play with the, the the those. I do like those better than the Ninjago yeah. top things because those are actually cool and they worked and yeah. they were fast. Yeah. So he he did a few videos with that, and we liked it. He liked it as far as that play feature mm. of this, but the whole overall theme was not good. And I and I think if they were doing Chima today. They would try to do something like what we're doing with Ninjago and make it super cool where it appealed to not just the young kids that it's more geared to, but also to the A-Falls and mm -hmm. T-Falls. Um, and part of me was like, okay, I wish they hadn't have done it because now I'm buying Ninjago <laughs> stuff that I don't want to buy. Mm -hmm. uh, but another part of me is like, well, maybe they'll do this for some other things. I'm like, but... I don't know that they will. Like, I wish they would make cooler train sets. Yeah. This and a couple of people have asked me my opinion on the latest train release that they'll be coming out, which is the Winter Train Station. Mm -hmm. To me, that doesn't have a train in it. It doesn't. Have, oh God. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, what? What? <laughs> oh my gosh. What? <laughs> you are my son. <laughs> you scared me at first. You are going to have a train in your train set? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> 
Exactly. All right. And, uh, and uh, okay, there are train sets. Like, there's been the train station. I have other train sets that are accessories to train sets that don't have actual train cars or locomotives in them. It's okay. But that's not a, It's like a fantasy world. It's yeah, like, that's why. Because, like, um, they've made really good train stations mm-hmm. in the past that don't have trains in them, and we like them. Yeah. And I was talking to... Because uh, they were relevant. I was talking to somebody about the... Uh, the winter train set that they came out with last year, and they were comparing it to the one that came out in the um, nine volt era, mm-hmm. <laughs> and how it didn't even really compare. I mean, the price was similar, but the piece count was like, I mean, the size of the train was like terrible for the newer one, and it, it actually was kind of. And I, and I don't, I, it, I'm st- stammering here because I don't like to talk bad about things that. The Lego designers have made because, you know, some guy took his time to design that. And I'm sure he had a look that he was looking for. And I don't know what that was, but the thing looked like I didn't like it. Yeah. So, so, um, I want real trains. I don't want these um, fantasy trains that aren't based on anything, like, real. But maybe the... Wait a minute, I like Thomas, so I can't really say that. And what, what if am they, I talking about? What if they about? made a train like, if they, space? If they made Thomas the tank engine again, I would be really happy. So that was that was bad logic. But I think people know what I'm trying to say is I'd rather have a really good quality train set, a Ninjago City of trains, instead of the winter train station. Yeah, like what if... Because in the Ninjago City trailer and the instructions and all that, they show a picture of like an inverted monorail. Like See, a, a, a suspended monorail. Is That's, what why say. can't they make something like that? Yeah. All right. So, in summary, um, with this video, I don't even, don't even know what kind of video this is. I just end up talking to you. It's okay to like Ninjago. It's okay not to like Ninjago. It's okay to like Chima. It's okay not to like Chima. It's okay to like Bionicle. It's okay not to like Bionicle. It's okay to like Duplo. You fail again. It's okay not to like Duplo. What is not okay is to impose your opinions on other people. And so if you like those things, you know, start your YouTube channel and go talk about them. Mm-hmm. But don't insult other people who don't share the same opinion as you do. Am I wrong? No, you're not wrong. All right. So see y'all in the next video. That's they might be bricks. He's I'm building. Brooks. He's building that. You can't see it. This set is just this so Ninjago cool. City. He's building it. He's building Ninjago City. It's got a comic book shop. Why did they have to do that? All right. And as uh, I end this, I'm going to buy one more Lego set. Which and one? I'm buying one more. That's two fingers. That this year. I'm buying one more Lego set, this and then year? I'm quitting. Oh. I'm not going to buy any more for a well, while. Anyway. I know what Lego set you should get. What If I could only buy one more Lego set for the rest of 2017, what do you think it should be? For the rest of 2017? Mm-hmm. Which means next year you could buy Lego sets? Yeah, for the rest of 2017. I can only buy one more set. In my opinion, not the Millennium Falcon. Wait, don't buy the Millennium Falcon? The new one, no. Why? Because it's not the original one, and it looks weird. So I did guess you think I was gonna say get the Millennium Falcon? Yeah. So I'm not gonna buy any more Lego sets the rest of the year. Do you think I can do that? Wait a minute, but I want to buy the Millennium Falcon. Yeah, but uh, I think you are gonna, because there's gonna be another Ninjago set that has I'm, a big shark in it, and you're gonna want. I that. wanted a Ninjago, set, but I'll wait for clearance for that. Mm-hmm. So. For the rest of 2017. But if you want to get the Do you think Falcon. I can do it? Do you think... Okay, what's this today? Today's August. Yeah. We're still in August. Do you think that I can go until January 1st, 2018 without buying a Lego set? No. Why? Because Lego is your hobby. Okay, now what's coming out that I'm going to re- regret not buying? Fishing store? Yes. The Ninjago shark set that you're talking about? Yes. Millennium Falcon? No. All right. What if I say uh, I'm not going to buy a set, but if somebody buys it for me, that's okay? You're going to give me the money to buy it? No. 
<laughs> so can I do the challenge? I mean, if you want. What we do the challenge is like I'm not. My goal is to not buy another Lego set, not do another Bricklink order, not do no. another eBay purchase. You mean like buy something from Bricklink? Not to buy anything from Bricklink, eBay, or at the store, any store, or any online shop that's Lego that I actually pay for. That. Um, that you do the transaction. Yeah, yeah. This, this doesn't include things like trades or something like that. But I'm talking about, could I go to the end of the year without making any new Lego purchases? Because some of you may not know this, uh, depending on how long you've been watching my channel. A lot of you probably aren't watching this video right now. You probably already clicked off of it, so you won't. Except Mardi Gras Man, probably. <laughs> Mardi Gras Man probably watched it. Uh, I uh, have done probably over 900 hauls and those hauls don't include things like this like i never did a haul of getting this did you know i had this i did not know you had i that. got this at bargain hunt yeah so there's other things that i've bought so in in those hauls they don't include everything that i've bought this lego related so i've bought way too much lego and i'm thinking i need to try I've, i don't think there's been a 30-day period in the last five years that I have gone without buying Lego. How come? Anything. What do you mean, how come? You're all that dead. I need this. Uh, oh, that's, let's get that. Can I get this? No, I'm... No, I'm Why have I not gone at least 30 days? I mean, you... I recommend, like, Dad, this set looks cool. Do you think you would get this? I don't know, Jacob. The next morning, it's already at the, the door, and I'm like, I didn't say... No, but do you see... I mean, that's yeah. a, kind of a silly... I mean, I'm not going to call your question silly, but why have I not bought any Lego for... In a, ha, why have I not had, like, a 30-day period that mm -hmm. I didn't buy Lego for so long? I don't know. So, I'm thinking that's what I'll... I'll my goal is to go to the end of the year without buying anything. And I was going to have a caveat and say... What's a caveat? I never... <laughs> Okay, I'm going to buy the Millennium Falcon, and that's it. But now he's just told me I can't, well, I mean, I do, I can't buy the Millennium Falcon. See, now I, I want the Millennium Falcon. Cause you know what? I don't have the original one. I could have bought it. I didn't buy it. So that... You can't have everything. And there's a lot of you out there that probably want to buy the Millennium Falcon. Can't afford it. Mm -hmm. So why should I get it? Because... And, that, and this was the hard dilemma I had in thinking this out. Is that... I want to do this, but I, I gotta get the Millennium Falcon. Then I'm I'm like Steve Martin and the jerk, like, oh, I need, I don't need anything. All I need is this chair. <laughs> and then he just starts grabbing these totally random, unneeded things. Cause you, that's the problem with things is sometimes we can't say no. Mm -hmm. So I need to say no to everything, right? Except, I don't know. I'd rather have... It wouldn't be much of a challenge if you make, kept making exceptions to actual purchasing things. So, if you want to send me stuff... <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, I'm not going to make any purchases. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, if somebody... You know, like, if Lego contacted me, which they won't, and said, hey, we're going to send you this, or Warner Brothers had a box that they offered, which they have done in the past. We've gotten... Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo. That's the only one we got from them. But if, you know, I would, that would not be a purchase. Or somebody wanted me to send me a sample to review, which maybe the done. What about the Last Jedi sets? I'm already planned on not getting those. The, the, the Gorilla Walker? Sorry. Okay. Well, you haven't said that you are doing the challenge. You're just showing me the idea. <sighs> Let's see how long we, well, challenges, you know. You if could, I get a job, which I plan on. You can fail at challenges. I don't want to. If, if I get a job, I'm going to save up for a car. Do you think I can do it? Wow. I'm talking to them. No more purchases. All right. Starting from. Okay. Today. Okay. And so some are going to say, "Well, you you just got the." Okay. So I did. I have a bricks and pieces order coming. And. I think that's it. So there is a bricks and pieces order I ordered like several weeks ago, and you know how slow they are 
with bricks and pieces. So not counting the bricks and pieces order, which I already paid for. This is August 20... What's today? 27th. August 27th is when I'm filming this. With my slow internet, it probably won't upload to August 28th. No more new purchases until 2018. Do you think I can do it? Are you asking me or them? I'm asking both of you. you I and them. already personally have my answer. You think I can't. That is correct. All right. This is my final video before my final haul, <laughs> which will be the Bricks and Pieces order. All right. So no Millennium Falcon. No fishing store. No fishing store. No new Star Wars movie set. No Tron bike if they announce it, but that's probably going to come out next year. If they do what that. do you think would be the one thing that I couldn't resist and that I would get anyway? Fishing store. And I got stuff in my shop. I got... I have 10 stores right now that I have items in my shopping cart on BrickLink that I haven't pulled the trigger on. I got an item on eBay in my shopping cart that I haven't pulled the trigger on. So I just got to go empty Is it cart. Lego related? Yeah. I was going to get the uh, Biff Starling, whatever his name is, and um, what's the other girl's name? Sandy Moondust, whatever her name is. I was going to get those minifigures. What's that? They're old um, Lego space or like um, Explorians. I don't know what they are. There's some like hard to find. They had names for Lego characters. Yeah, back then? So a lot of the characters had names back in the day. Sometimes you didn't know what they were because <laughs> they didn't put it in the instructions. <laughs> but there would be a story somewhere that you could read, and that it would have the name in it. That's what uh, Brick Theorist is for. Yeah, uh, Joe, he he's doing pretty good at researching stuff like that. I never read the uh, the book. The book. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Is Briggs are, you know, crazy? <laughs> he is. See you guys. Mystery machine. <clears throat> I'm not even going to edit this.